Unit 1, Lesson 3, Grid Moves. Number 1. Apply each transformation described to figure A. If you get stuck, try using tracing paper. A. A translation which takes P to P prime. This translation takes figure A from P to P prime. B. A counterclockwise rotation of A using center P of 60 degrees. This is the new location for figure A after a counterclockwise rotation of 60 degrees. C. A reflection of A across line L the line of reflection. Here's a look at the reflection of figure A across line L or on the other side of the reflection line. If you were to look at it with the reflection line vertical it would look more like a reflection. Here's an example of that. With the reflection line held vertical it's easier to see the reflection in this case. Number two, here is triangle ABC drawn on a grid. On the grid, draw a rotation of the triangle ABC. I'm going to make a 90 degree rotation and I'm gonna set this up by first making a square. Then I'm gonna chip away at the sides that I'm not gonna use and I've taken line AB and redrawn it with a 90 degree angle or a 90 degree rotation. I'll repeat that procedure with line AC. I'll start with a square so that I have a 90 degree angle and I'll eliminate the sides that I'm not going to need and I've moved line AC to its new location which is a 90 degree rotation. The last line is the simplest. I'm just connecting the end of line C with the end of line A, and that gives me line BC. The rotation is a 90 degree clockwise rotation with point A at the center. Draw a translation of triangle ABC. I'm going to start by coloring in point A with the color red. And I'm going to make the translation four units down and three units across. And I'll place the new red point at that location to represent point A. Let's double check that it's four units down and three units to the left. Now I'll repeat that process with point B. Four units down and three units to the left. And I'll place the new point for point B. Finally, I'll repeat the process for point C. Four units down and three units to the left and put the new location for point C. Here's a look at all three points. And here's a look at the translation of triangle ABC. The translation of triangle ABC is four units down and three units to the left. Draw a reflection of triangle ABC. First I've drawn a horizontal line, the line of reflection. Since point A is two units above that line, I'm going to put the reflection point for point A two units below the line. I'll do the same for B. B is one point above the line, so I'll place B one point below the line and C is three points above the line, so I'll place point C three points below the line for the reflection. Here's a look at the reflection with all three sides to the triangle. The reflection is drawn across a horizontal line of reflection. Number 3A. Draw the translated image of A, B, C, D, E so that vertex C comes to vertex C prime. You'd be better off using tracing paper, 
but I'm putting my example on graph paper. Here's the translated image of A, B, C, D, E with the vertex C moving to C prime. 3B. Draw the reflected image of the pentagon A, B, C, D, E with line of reflection L. Tracing paper may be useful. Since point A is 8 units from the line to the left on the original figure, I'm going to put point A 8 units to the right of the line for the reflection. And I'll use that same strategy for finding the locations of the points for the reflection of the original figure. Now that we have all the points for the reflection, we can fill in the lines and you can see the reflection. The reflection is on the right, the original figure is on the left. 3C. Draw the rotation of pentagon A, B, C, D, E around C clockwise by an angle of 150 degrees. Tracing paper and a protractor may be useful. Here's a look at my final drawing of the rotation of the pentagon. A protractor would really be helpful because you need to find the angle of 150 degrees. Take a look at the original point A that goes to point C. And then from point C to point A on the rotation, you can tell that that's a 150 degree angle if you line up a protractor. When I remove all the other lines around it, you can tell that the angle A, B, A prime is 150 degrees. Again, if you were to line up a protractor, you'd be able to tell that the angle of rotation in this case was 150 degrees.